One year ago today, News 4's power camera caught the moments a tornado ripped through the heart of our city. And during the flashes of lightning, you can actually see that massive cloud begin to extend to the ground. It would be hours later before we could see the full extent of the devastation and damage this storm left behind. 15 tornadoes hit Middle Tennessee during those early morning hours. They took 25 lives. North Nashville, East Five Points, Germantown, many more neighborhoods here in Nashville were all in the tornado's path. The strongest in Nashville was an EF3. Two people died in the Five Points area. Aubrey Sexton and Michael Dolfini, who moved here from California. The storm did roughly one and a half billion dollars in damage. Private business home, businesses, homes, even John C. Toon Airport, they were all hit by an EF2 tornado. Add on about 50,000 people without power right after the storm, and it took more than a week to get it all fixed. Now, here's a side-by-side -side look right now at Germantown today versus a year ago. We'll show it to you here in just a moment. We're going to show you the vista here. At one point, this apartment complex was condemned, and then nobody was allowed near it. The building has since been rebuilt. People have moved back in, but the same can't be said for every place in Germantown. Right now, News 4's Ryan Breslin joins us from Germantown, where there are still businesses and homes trying to recover. It was a devastating day for many in the community, and I was there to see it all. I want to take you back through my camera roll and show you some of those images from that night. This is Jefferson Street at Germantown Place. I spoke to a man who lives here, who's finally back in his apartment just one year later. My life changed in that moment. Thinking back to one year ago, Stephen Salyers remembers the tornado like a scene from a movie. So that's what I woke up to. Glass shattered, the fire alarm's going off. And still it was hard to process, like in deep sleep, like what's happening. Salyers has lived in Germantown Place for six years, but for much of 2020, he didn't know if he'd return. By that weekend, I was told there was, there was a chance the building could collapse on its own. So I've heard trauma is too much, too fast, too soon. And that happened and then we two weeks later we we're on isolation with the pandemic and I was no one I didn't have a home to isolate in. While Salyer says he was supported, he believes survivors also felt forgotten because of the pandemic. Still, he feels a greater appreciation for life now from it all. Even as tragic and as painful as that night was for me, I have to honor that the value of that for my life is just as equal as all the good things that has happened to me over the years here in Nashville. Just days after Christmas, he walked into his apartment again, reminding himself that there's no place like home. When your home is what inspires your life and it's gone, like, to be welcomed back is great. To know that you were missed when your home was missing in the neighborhood is, is something great to return to for sure. And we're certainly glad to see him return. I want to share a couple other Germantown updates for you right here. Regions Bank, it looks the same as it did following the tornado. Well, they tell me that they plan to rebuild. They have a modular facility behind the building across the street at O'Reilly Auto. They told me that they have terminated their lease and will not rebuild. And on 2nd Avenue North, the DCS building that was completely demolished. Well, that land is up for sale by the Department of General Services. Ryan Breslin, News 4 Nashville.